all. Welcome to the call, beautiful people. My name is Pamela Pacheco, and I have the honor, pleasure, and privilege of being your host this morning. And I remember when we started these calls and when I started my journey on entrepreneurship a little bit over seven years ago, I was looking forward to these type of conversations, right? I was looking forward forward to the deep conversations. Not only were these conversations inspiring me, right? Not only were these conversations giving me the information that I needed, but it also assists me to grow. It let me grow. And it also let me understand from the very, very beginning that garbage in is garbage out. Greatness in is greatness out. And how you start the day sets the tone for your day. So I'm super excited because today is not about me. It is about we, because we are about to be blessed by one of the most humblest savages out there, right? This man is an amazing father. He is what we call a serial entrepreneur. And if you don't know what that means, that means that he runs multiple businesses at a very high level. This guy is super, super, super sharp. Not only is he breaking records in the United States, he's breaking records all around the world, formerly in the NBA. I mean, he is just an all around rock star, servant leader as they come. But it, it is my honor, pleasure, and privilege to introduce to you my brother from another mother, Mr. Corey Brown. Are you on the line, CB? I am, Pam. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I can hear you. I can see you. I see you. Is my light right? I got that off you. I ain't got an eight you got, inch, but you got the light all right. Light right. You got it all right. No doubt. How are you doing? Wonderful. Good morning. I am great. Thank you so much. Blessed, blessed to have you on here. Blessed to see another day, man. So tell the world, how are you? How are you? First of all, how are you doing? I am blessed, Pam. I am very blessed. To, first and fall, first and foremost, thank you for having me on this call. I've been hearing about it, but it's just damn early for me, y'all. Seven. I, I'll be up, but I don't be ready to work yet. I'm going to be honest. I then had a pleasurable lifestyle and heard it was early. So I know you are working. So I had to get my butt on up and get on on here. But I am blessed, Pam. Thank you. I appreciate you. Amen. Blessed indeed, my brother. So I know I said a little bit about you, but for those who do not know, who Mr. Corey Brown is. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about your journey. Tell them who is Mr. Corey Brown. Okay, okay. Well, for those that do not know, my name is Corey Brown. And I had the pleasure of first meeting Pam in a wonderful concept. I was in about, starting about eight years now. But I'm fortunate to be in this new company for about six weeks. Actually been in about a month. I just woke up six weeks ago. But uh, yeah, eight years ago, made a decision because uh, I was blessed to have a lifestyle of being blessed with talent to play basketball. I know Pam said earlier the NBA, but uh, wasn't that fortunate to make it that far. That was the dream, but I only made it overseas, so I did not become a millionaire. I was a thousandaire. So uh, I was missing a comma. So um, yeah, I had to go figure some stuff out. Started some businesses, like you said, serial entrepreneur, and a lot of those failed as well. Luckily, about three or four of them survived, and couple did very well. So I was blessed, but it still wasn't a lifestyle that I wanted. Why? Because daddy produced a little girl in college. I was a little extra. So I knew I had a responsibility. And at this time, I had lived it out, balling out. Got man, buying all the cars, bought a nice home. But unfortunately, the knees uh, started to go down. And that means the checks started to go down. So uh, my money got funny and my credit wouldn't get it. So I had to find something different. And when a friend of mine, my wonderful sponsor, Dana James, luckily she's been my friend for 20 plus years, introduced me to the concept of travel, I was just ecstatic, but I just didn't believe it because I looked on Facebook and I'm just gonna research everything I look for. And I saw a picture of her in China. And I just understood that black people don't go to China for vacation. So I didn't understand what the hell she was doing. I just knew it had to be something because she was driving a little BMW that she liked and she wasn't working anymore and she's a workaholic. So I'm not, I don't have to be the smartest man in the world, but that made sense. BMW not working no more equals a little success going on. So I reached out to her. She showed me the concept and I just trusted her because I didn't trust it. I just didn't believe black folks went to China. I just knew I knew her for 20 years and she was doing the damn thing. So what's, what's great about what she introduced me to was between the ears. What I thought was 
I had it all. I didn't have anything because I didn't have the mindset to go get it all. And I came back when I say came back because I went to a training, came back and understood what I really had to do for my daughter. So I went to work and in 11 months hit the rank that paid me enough money to put her in college. And uh, luckily for her, she saw me waking her up every night with these parties and she decided to get a scholarship. So that little money got my house out of foreclosure, changed my life around. I started buying cars like Pam and them and life just got good. You know, they said, go buy a BMW. I said, okay, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, it was fun and life changed, but it changed because my mindset changed. And now today, just blessed to be here. My daughter's graduated from college. Uh, my why has changed. I got to get moms this amazing home. And a lot of that comes from the strength comes from a lot of people that I'm around. So that's me in a nutshell right now, Pam. Wow, wow, wow. And it's funny because even knowing you, like just hearing your story is like you get inspired all over again, right? And it is just truly amazing, truly inspiring. And let me ask you something. You said something at the end there. You're like, you know, that's my story. And really, it was my mindset. And you ended it with that. And how important would you say that mindset is in, in entrepreneurship? How important would you say that your mindset, your belief, not only in entrepreneurship and in what you do today, um, but, you know, period in life for you to be able to accomplish anything that you want to do, any goals that you set out? Well, it's very important because that's the foundation of your success. Well, it's not taught. I mean, it's not like you don't learn that in school. You don't learn mindset. You learn how to work. So whichever environment you in, that's going to become your mindset. So again, when I wasn't around like-minded people, I was around ballers. Well, all we thought was ball, get money, go out, pop bottles, get it in. Because we saw people with real money do that and we didn't have real money. So we had the mindset to do what they were doing. Simply, oh, I can do what Michael Jordan doing. Look good. I've been bald my head but I don't have Michael Jordan money. I'm thinking like him, but I didn't have it. So I had to get around an environment that had me think like them, that had what I wanted and I can go get it. And that's what I'm saying. I'm blessed that I'm blessed that I have a sponsor bring me in and give me the tools to go get it because that gave me the drive to be like, oh, and I'm gonna keep it real with you, Pam. I know this is your breakfast club, but hell, I'm up early, so I'm gonna keep it real. I just saw people that I'm like, yo, for me, I'll give a comparison. On the basketball court, if I see a cat 5'3", ain't no way in hell you about to get with me like that. That's just what it is. You're little, you're not, no offense to the 5'3 fellas on here, but I'm 6'4". So I'm going to bang you out on the court. Well, when I've joined the company and I saw people that I felt was winning, I'm like, what the hell? Oh, no, how are they winning and I'm not? Well, they had their mindset together already. That was the only thing. So no offense to the 5'3". It doesn't matter if you're 5'3". If your mind's stronger, that's what the David and Goliath is about. And I didn't have that. I just thought I was always Goliath. That's just all, of, that's all it was. And so when I joined the company and I just started to see people winning, my beginning mindset was like, little man, little man, little man, I'm about to get this money. And no, that wasn't it. It was little man was like, yeah, I got books, I got money, and I'm advancing in ranks. I was like, all right. You got it. He must be Spud Webb. He little man and he getting money though. So that was the mindset y'all. So in this environment, it changed everything for me. It was like, okay, it's not about how you look. It's not about how tall you are, how short you are. It's about what's between those ears and what's between that chest. What's intestinal fortitude? Are you willing to go get it? And I saw a lot of that around me. And because of Dana and the environment she put me in, that's what it gave me. Cause I had all the tools, I just needed it between the ears. Love that. Had all the jewels, just needed it in between the ears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for those that, you know, are brand new to this cause, these are mentorship, leadership, entrepreneurship. We talk about life. We talk about a little bit about everything. And specifically, you know, it's geared towards members of our lifestyle club, right? And, you know, we're in a, we have just transitioned. We just merged. And if you are brand new, you don't know what that is, that is cool. Um, so we were previously in another company together and we just merged with another company. So Corey was one of the top leaders, top earners there. And in, uh, I saw that, you know, somewhere like he hit platinum in four days or something like that. And I want you guys to understand, it's not necessarily that 
it just happened in four days, right? It's because he made a decision, right? That took place. That's why, like he said it, if you guys caught that in the beginning, that he was like, we've been here, but I was a little asleep for the first time. And, and I love the transparency because these calls have to remain raw and authentic at all times. So um, talk to us a little bit about that. Talk to us about, you know, your transition um, from, you never really a transition as an entrepreneur, but really just being able to lead and what did it for you? Because in this merger, you know, the transition, like what, what exactly was it that did it for you that took you from saying, Hey, I'm going to sleep a little longer. I'm going to be on the sidelines a little bit to let me move into action. This is breakfast call. Is this like family call children yes. and friends? Yes. yes. Awesome. I'll keep yes. it PG. Um, <laughs> technically, uh, hey, you. Um, let me check everybody's temperature. I just saw my little thing in the, let me make sure everybody's temperature good. Make sure y'all are ready for this. Um, what I learned is servantship comes with a lot, but I learned work, you don't work for free. And so, um, I'm, I'm being like, I'm rubbing my legs. Like, uh, what had happened was I was working my tail off and it just came with a price of people instead of money. And it, it put me into a very tough position because, yeah, I have to serve my people, but I got to pay these bills. So in the last event, it was I was put in a crossfire because I can't let my people go. Like, so it was this is real. I'm not getting paid, but I can't let it go because my love is in a whole different place right now. It, it's not about the money, but I need bills. So what happens is I'm smart enough to go. I said, I got to transition. I got to start some new companies for this income to get it cracking because until this foundation gets together, bills got to be paid and I don't work for free. I, I serve for free. That's why I serve my team, but I don't work for free. So I had to decide to go do something different real quick, not real quick as far as away from what I was doing, but I couldn't let the team know what was going on because that's what a leader do. You have to settle your own issues, make sure you're good and still be that person for them. So that's what was going on. So that's what had my butt on ice. And when the blessing dropped, when God said, because a group of y'all stayed strong because a group of y'all minds was so strong, I just was putting y'all through a test. And if you could survive the test that I just put you through, boy, your future is gonna look great. And I'm glad I was open to the blessing that he dropped on us, which was secret. And that's when it hit me six weeks ago. And it all just sunk in. And I had I had one of the brothers who just wasn't feeling it, one of the toughest workers in the company, a boy, Keith Willis, at, in the beginning, he wasn't even feeling it. Me and my bro going back and forth, bumping heads. Like, he's one of the strongest dudes that I've seen come out work me in the company. And that was just amazing for me. But when I seen he wasn't feeling it, I was just in a crossfire. And luckily, I did have things going on. But that blessing dropped, that blessing dropped real big. And I looked at the squad, I looked at the people around me that I loved and I knew the promises I made. And when that scene that the first check dropped, oh, it was on. That's why I give y'all that smile. Cause that mean we back. I can now go still do what I promised I would finish. I still can go help everybody that said that I was gonna help. I still the living rooms that I slept in, the beds that I slept in, the floors that I slept on. Now I can go get it done because the checks are dropping. So now Corey get to serve for real and work for fun. Cause when you're getting paid, it gets real fun. And that's what happened. And in six weeks, we went to work. We understood what was going on. Luckily I had people around me like Kim Gonzalez working and she's the product queen. Oh Lord have mercy. So I got blessed because I was around, I put myself in the middle of people that was blessed. And luckily I can go to Kim, boom. We had great leadership going on still through the fire. We got calls going on. All I did was have to tap into what was set, and it was amazing. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you got these calls. It's easy for me. So I just tapped people in, and when God, when I saw the blessing, let's go to work. And the checks kept coming, and I said, oh, it's real. Then I met the owners, the ownership of the company. I understood what was in the past. In the past, I've heard great leadership talk about rear view mirror and big, big mirrors in the front, and that's not when you listen and you use it, it's easy. That's why I listen to people who's better than me. And we went to work, Pam, and in six weeks, we made it happen. It got talked about your volume coming over. I didn't give a damn because the checks kept coming and I could help my team. So that's what happened. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love that. Love that. Love that, man. Energy is through the roof. These chats are blowing up. CB, thank you for your authenticity as always. And what I know that, you know, we have this conversation and you were on the call the other day and this past weekend when the event was the leadership summit was going on in Phoenix, I was blessed enough to be able to get on Zoom. I had family issues, couldn't be there, unfortunately, but um, I'm just grateful that I did get to hear you talk about that a little bit. And it has been a really, really great strategy that has been utilized around the company worldwide. And if you don't mind just sharing that strategy and any other strategy that you feel like, hey, this is working. Well, what got us, and luckily the company is advancing very fast. So what we were doing six weeks ago, you know, man, it's it's come along. We've got people that took what I was doing and did it faster times 10. So it's simply first and foremost, if you're on this call, I'm assuming you're activated. So it's a weird little thing. We kind of know things in the beginning, but if you're not, just, you have to be activated. So go activate yourself, buy yourself some nice products. They dope as hell. I mean, excuse my French. I know it's early, but I'm just keeping it real with y'all. The products are dope. They're like blue magic. And if you don't watch TV, just be the Frank Lucas right now. You got blue magic. So go buy yourself something, activate yourself. But what we were realizing was it's about, everybody came over like, First of all, this has never happened in network marketing history. You are part of something so special. I'm, I'm gonna start posting that I'm special because I'm just part of something special that 5 million accounts came over and I was one of the 5 million and I'm one of the hundreds, hundreds of people that's gonna be on here that's gonna make something happen within that. And we just pretty much crashed the company and half the people haven't even activated themselves yet. So I understood that like, damn, everybody even activated yet. So instead of me sending out a text to get people activated, just thought about, I just figured out how did I activate myself? And it was difficult. What if we go do the work for them? If you're a real leader right now, if you're listening, it was simply like, I'm gonna go do the work for the people that don't understand it yet. And if they can push a button with a thumb, they can text, they can go to Facebook, they can go to Instagram and read directions. If we get them to that point, we can get them activated. So we simply just went, what you can do now, is go simply get their email. And we copied and paste. Well, I'll do it this way. We went and got, we went in our back office. So you have to activate yourself. You have to be able to log into your back, amazing back office. Wow, if you saw the last back office compared to this one, you would feel good about yourself anyway. But you would have to log into your back office, go to your binary and just go down. The, this is what we did. We went to the most recent people that we knew that was rocking with us, period. We went with them first because they were rocking with us. So they didn't understand yet. They were a little confused, put on ice. So we got them activated. We took their member ID number. We placed it in the login for secrets. We hit trouble logging in. It will take us to a World Ventures page. If you're World Ventures, place your email. Their email is right there on the same page. If you go copy their email, you place it in that email line and then you hit retrieve password. If the screen turns green, which says email successful, the person you email is gonna get, you set up this password for is gonna get the email. Their phone number is on the page. Call them, text them, email them. And you say, hey, Pam, did you get your new secrets member ID number, which for your new secrets back office? Hey, let me know. If you know them personally, yo, activate yourself, boy, go ahead. Just logged in, I did the work for you. All you gotta do is go to your email and follow the directions. That's it. And find you something you like. I recommend, if you wanna look good, get the wellness pack, get the health made simple. It's pretty dope. I'm on it right now. I'm pretty wired up right now off the uh, boosters. I'm just letting you know. If you just wanna look good, I know you be feeling, you will be feeling good about how you be looking. Try the wild pack, that'll get you started quick. And then I'll let you know, I I'll get back to you. That's simple y'all. That's how we activated a lot of people. Uh, we went down layers to our teams and they just did, I said, hey, go activate everybody you know. If there's a problem, have one teammate each day call corporate. It might take a few hours, but somebody will sacrifice. I call from my office phone. And when they get on, you three-way your teammate. That's what teamwork is. And that's what we did. Good stuff. And I love that, you know, one of the things about you, CB, is that you're super humble. You're like, yeah, I started it, but somebody perfected it, and now it's got even easier. And 
you know, teamwork definitely makes the dream work. And I love, thank you for sharing those best practices. Um, make, hopefully you guys are taking very, very copious notes. What is something that you're like, man, this strategy has been working as far as it can be anything. It can be as far as inviting, it can be presenting, it can be closing. Um, anything that you're saying, you know what, this is something, this is a tip that is like, everybody needs to know this. Um, Drop some nuggets. First and foremost, everybody need to know, like I told y'all, my ass was on ice and now that ice is melted because I'm on fire. And that's what everybody needs to be on right now. And the person that you were building with before, the person you was thinking about, there is no way that you are not letting them be part of this. Before, the PAMs, all the leaders you see on this line, it's a plethora of them. We had to sell our credibility for months because ain't nobody, seven to 12% of your organization took a dream trip. They just watched us, so they believed in us. Think about this. We had to we had to sell our credibility every month, spend our money, go party, get on drink trips, so they had to live the credibility through us. And they never went, but they paid a membership that they couldn't touch. Months, years. Now you need your credibility for five minutes because the product sell itself. All I got to do is get in front of you. So my thing is, I'm coming through. Yo, if I wow you for five minutes, are you rocking with me? You know how you talking to your girls? <laughs> I won't say it, but <laughs> you know how you talk to your peoples. If I wow you, so then I give them a disclaimer. My wows consist of, oh, sh damn, what's this? What it is? You're an alien. Whatever the case may be, that's my wow. Because people talk different in different cultures. So when I get one of those, it's a deal. Send them my website, Secrets Direct, backslash League Money. It's time for you to live like League Money. That's my whole little thing. It's a whole nother brand. But boom. There they go, send them my link and I recommend what you feel like, how you feeling? You wanna feel better in 2021 or you wanna look better in 2021? Let's pick your lane. I recommend the wellness pack, the health made simple. Yo, I'm on it right now. I'm probably on the boosters right now. I say the same thing. You wanna look better? I recommend the wild pack. Just what I used on you. You like the body butter? Put that body, put that butter on your body. And that's just that simple, y'all. And the same thing, let's get you started. And that's that's a first that's first so, panel. So good. Getting them started. So now good. so now you have a brand new person started. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a brand new person started. What does the what does the system look like? What does the fast start look like? What is week Who's fast start? What does day one and week one look like? Uh the regular fast start, you can go to www. <laughs> There's amazing fast starts with secret in your back office. There's templates. There's <laughs> there's amazing training tools in your back office. Go to tools. You, you can right, go right okay. to it before you log in. <laughs> you go right to open. They have the amazing little iRobot lady with the peeling gel. And it says tools. And it has amazing training fast start uh, software that you can uh, tools you perfect. Can so for somebody that doesn't want to read all of that and says, "Hey, I just want to go in the trenches with you. I want to build fast. What does that look like? Uh oh, what does they want to look like with them? Like this temperature. <laughs> well, how I have been starting. It's been like I said, people have started to perfect it and doing a lot better, but my question is, are you an A, B, or C on a level of yo A? Do you just want to get started? Get yourself $100 worth of product. That's you. Cool. I'm going to recommend, boom, nutrition, skincare. Uh, but B is, you want to get started. You just ain't got the money. Or C is, I'm starting with, yo, I start off with, yo, can you afford to have it all packed? Are you serious? Are you like me? Are you ready to win fast? So I get the answer right there. That's my first start. Have it all packed. Are you a B? You know, you, you, you might buy about three, $400 worth of product. Or you an A, you know, I'm just getting started. Give me some time greens and uh you know they they I was they just get started i like to start i'll start with the a's boom get them started they're in if you understand your volume boom you keep it moving a b i kind of give them an option hey you, you're gonna buy a wellness pack and wow they say i'll spend about 450 i'll say great what if you could afford to have it all packed? Would you buy it? They say, yes, but I can't afford it. Would you go, well, you know, Pam, I don't know if your breakfast club is ready for this. It might be a little early. It's a little early, Pam. Nah, go off, go off, go off. All right, so if you can afford to have it all packed, I tell them to wait. Hold on a second. Why? Because we're working every day. We're working every day, all day. Boom. 
Why? Because we can create value very fast in this company opposed to an hour long presentation. And then you still got to convince them, look, look at my photos. You saw me in Fiji. You saw me in Puerto Rico. You saw me in like, now it used to take two hours to get it done. It used to irritate me. Now it's like, yo, I slapped that body butt on your bow. And it's a wrap. So volume is being created on a daily. Then I'll call my aunt, aunt, check my website. And I'm about to send you this quick video. Boom. She was like, nephew, that is cute. Go ahead. Here's my website. Buy that. Volume is kicking in. Then I go back up to the person that said they want to have it all within the next day or two. Now you buy your have it all. Their volume goes to their weak side. Usually when you say I want to have it all and you buy it right away, it goes to the strong leg. And then you have to work your inside. You got to work regardless. See, don't, this isn't a, the thing is we're working. I'll repeat when you're working, it works fast. When you're not working, it don't work. I have five people sitting at bronze and no, I'm sorry. Two people sitting at bronze, five people sitting with half the value there and still ain't working because they got to go to work a little bit. 50% of the work is done because of the system. It's that simple, y'all. So we've got people hitting bronze. My goal, I don't know what yours is, but my goal, my goal is 30 bronzes in 90 days. I think I might be shortchanging myself because I got people working faster than me, like Kim Gonzalez. And uh, like I said, people below is working a lot faster and she's got bronzes popping. So that counts. But in a nutshell, if you listen to what I'm telling you and you're working as a unit and you work from the bottom up, I'm talking be the Robin Hood of your organization now. If you have a little money, invest in your organization. We was doing it in the other club and they still ain't going a damn dream trip. And they're real. But this time you invest in your organization and watch how everybody get fed up. I don't know, Pam. I don't know if this is breakfast, y'all. I done got vegan. Keith got me eating plants. Listen, now I got Lex eating plants. We here for it all. So if that's too much fire for him, get back on nice and keep watching. But nope, six weeks. Nope, nope. The I'll, make, I'll, I'll, I'll say the this. And we made money in the other in the other plan. I made more money in six weeks than I made in the last six months in the other company. I'll tell y'all that. So Our the people fault. that have not got started have just keep thinking, keep wondering, oh, I'm waxing some IMDs ass right now. And I'm coming for them. So let's put it like that. I ain't waiting for anything. My team, I don't, I don't have my team, the team, because we part of the lifestyle company. We not waiting on anything. So what are you waiting for? That's simple, y'all. And this is easier. I, I ain't the skin guy, but I'm. you see, I got the lights. I'll be watching. Breakfast Pam. has been served. Uh, Corey, man, I appreciate you. We all, the chats are blowing up. Guys, you know, vegan plant-based savage over here. Um, let him know how much value, how much love, um, how much just of a blessing he has been the sporting to us. Corey, uh, you could just share any marching orders, whatever's on your heart. Um, however, whatever it is that you want to say to finish off the call, the floor is yours. Thank you again, bro, for being on. Appreciate you. Absolutely. First and foremost, Pam, thank you for having me on. It's always a blessing to know how hard you have been working. Awards are just not given to anyone. So I know what you've been going through and I'm so blessed to be your friend. You know, I am here for anything and I'm sure you have a plethora of people that love you and feel the same way. I would say that people, this is time. Like, even if you're part of Pam's team, this is the time to, if you can do anything for somebody, go to work. And the other company, I used to have my mom get a spot, my sister and them get a spot. Oh, y'all ain't working anymore. Y'all just buy body butter. Y'all just buy mud soap. Y'all just buy the products and go on dream trips. Oh, because we're about to get it done. You don't have to work anymore with this comp plan. And my thing is, get back to your whys. See, it's a lot going on in the transition, but just imagine this. If your job transitions, you get an option of a severance package or you got to go. What you going to do? But if the plan got that much better, they're like, yo, we're going to move up your pay. We're going to double your pay. We're going to double your income. We're going to double your lifestyle and you're going to have a lot more fun. Come on with us. I mean, you going, you got to make a decision. Hell, I'm allergic to W-2s, but my family still got them. So I'm, I'm trying to cure their allergies right now. And now I finally have the opportunity to do that. And I can take a lot of people with me. I can go serve a lot of people now. Oh, I'm slapping mud on every damn body right now. 
And y'all know we ain't the mud people, but I am now, and it's very uncomfortable. So I'm asking everybody to get uncomfortable because if you ever got uncomfortable with anything, what we did was easy. That wasn't uncomfortable for me to sit in the middle of the Dominican Republic at the Hard Rock Cafe with a Mai Tai in my hand. That's not uncomfortable. That, that's easy. That's a reward. At all of your jobs, that's your reward. What we share with people. What? That was the reward. That wasn't hard, but that was difficult. Now, this is easy. I'm telling y'all what's easy about it because it's physical. We sold air. I sold air for eight years, and now I get land in my hand. I'm slapping sand. Boy, I be rhyming, Pam. Look at that. All right, I'm done, Pam. I, I'm, I get I get hype. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologies. It's all good. Let's go to work, y'all. I love y'all. Everybody. 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 Appreciate you. Love you so much, CB. Thank you again. Um, breakfast has been served. This has been your Breakfast Club call for Thursday, January 14, 2020. One 90 days in the mud. Let's get it, y'all. God bless you guys. Love you guys. See you guys next week.